Hi, Gary Clayton here. I have a rule of thumb for you. If the government owes me money now is better than later. But if I owe the government, later is better than now. Now that's a good rule of thumb tax rule and it works the majority of the time. So I want to look at taking advantage of two out of three tax benefits. And the three benefits are tax deductibility, tax deferment, and tax free. So let's start with qualified assets, 401ks and um, qualified retirement plan accounts, IRAs, and so forth. When I look at a 401k and traditional IRA, it's tax deductible and tax deferred. That's good. I could go with a Roth 401k or Roth IRA. That's tax deferred and then tax free. Two out of three in both of those. Now I go to non-qualified assets. Insurance has special tax laws uh, for it. So believe it or not, the old tried and true cash value life insurance, a lot of different kinds, is tax deferred and can be tax free during life if distributed properly and so forth, structured right. Finally, we have other kinds of investments. You have investment real estate. A lot of the taxation uh, can be covered by depreciation other items, so not, not being taxable as you move along, as well as you can exchange these for other properties and not pay tax from one property to the next. Lots of ways to do that. Oil and gas is special tr treatment for tax deductibility. There's other kinds of structures in the estate planning world, like irrevocable trusts that can have the tax be paid by the large taxable estate, the wealth builder, versus the family. That then can get it all really, in effect, it's growing tax-free from their perspective. And there's other structures out there that have a lot of benefits. Let's go back to a simple example, though. I put 100000 in a 401k, and I have 100000 that's totally taxable. I have a 7% rate of return gross. In the 401k, it's 7% gross, 7% net. In the taxable account, it's 7% gross, but 4.55 net because I'm in a 35% tax bracket. Now, I've got 30 years to invest. Guess what? At the end of 30 years, that 100 goes to $760,000 in the 401k. The 100 that's investable in, uh, is taxable goes to $380,000. That's right. You heard it right. It's a double. That's what tax deductibility and tax deferment does without it makes a huge difference. So think about that next time when you're doing an investment, how you're looking at taking advantage of these tax benefits. Until next time, enjoy.